Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create a geometric apple. So we have our apple poster. You can go ahead and pull those up. Um, and you can see I have the geometric apple. This is the look that we're going for. So you should have three, or yeah, three apples so far. We're going to add a fourth one. This one probably takes the longest out of all of them. So on your, and actually I turned this off so you can see it over here. But on your just working canvas that we have, this is not the official one, you're going to make sure you have that original Apple picture, so that little PNG from Google Classroom. You can drag it onto your screen. We're gonna go ahead and zoom up, and how this is going to work is we are basically breaking up the picture into separate geometric shapes, so there's no, we're not using the curve tool at all. Um, we're using the pen tool, but we're not curving it. So these are just straight lines. So to start, um, go ahead and switch to the pen tool. And you can see over here that I actually labeled each of my apples. So I grouped them together. And then if you double click on the layer, you can rename it just for future use. Okay, so um, actually I don't wanna be on any sort of layer. So if you just click the pointer tool, and just click anywhere, it won't have a layer selected. So then we're gonna use the pen. Over here, I would say that your border, go ahead and leave it black and then make it one. So press one and then enter. The fill, we don't wanna fill, so make sure that's at 0%, zero, enter, and then we'll be ready to go. So we're going to break this up by color. So you can see my highlight here. I'm gonna add my highlight over here. Now these shapes, I don't want them to be huge. Like this, even though it's about all the same color, we're still gonna break it up. So I don't want you to do massive shapes. We're gonna break this up. So I'm gonna zoom in pretty close and with my pen tool, I'm gonna go ahead, actually I don't want that. Okay, pen tool, I'm just gonna start by dragging my pen tool across. And again, no curvy lines, just straight geometric shapes. And then I need to, again, I need to end where I started. Okay, so I've got this outline here. Then I'm actually gonna go over to the fill and I'm gonna choose the eyedropper and I'm going to select that color. So you can see it's kind of the general color of that area. Okay, so that's path one. Um, and then what you need to do is you actually have to lock your path because if you try to continue and create a new shape over here, it's going to affect this path. So we're gonna to totally lock this. So lock that layer, go ahead and switch to the pointer for just a second, just to release that. And then you have to go back to the pen tool and we're gonna do it all again. So then I'm going to maybe grab this section in here. So clicking and then attach, and then I do my fill color. Grab that, lock it, switch to the pointer, switch back to the pen tool. So it takes a little bit of time, but that's what you're going to do the entire process. So just drag, um, collect the fill color, lock your layer, and then um, you can switch to the pointer, go back to the pen tool, and you can see my example up here. So I did the stem, all of this information. I broke up the stem into three sections. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so once you're ready to send your geometric, I'm gonna go ahead and move this. Once you're ready to send this over to the final poster, you're gonna have like eight trillion layers. So what you need to do is you actually have to unlock the layers. So I'll do it, I'll just show you an example. You'll have way more layers. You have to unlock them. Then if you would like, you're gonna go ahead, we'll move this apple out of the way. So once you have all of your layers, you can click and drag over your layers or you can press the first one, hold down shift and then go all the way down to the last layer, kind of like photo P. But this is the easier way if you just click and highlight over all of your little geometric shapes, then you have them highlighted in the layers and what you're gonna do is group them together. So group them all together and that's exactly what I did with my geometric shape here. So even though they're all still separate, 
they're all moving as a unit. So that's gonna be way easier for you. So then you're going to command C and then command V it over into your final poster. And then you can add your little text box, just name it Geometric Apple. So when you turn this into Google Classroom, if you don't remember, you can take a screenshot or save this as a PNG, turn in your pro um, progress so far, it doesn't matter. Um, but I just wanna be able to see all of your all of your shapes, so I wanna be able to zoom in. And then turn it into Google Classroom and that'll be it.